when I got into fighting, the main motivation for me was to literally become like my favorite anime characters, to have like special moves, special attacks, you know, to do fancy stuff. And to a certain extent, I still want that. But all that fancy stuff, the kicks, the well, well, all of that, that's martial arts. That's being a martial artist. But being a fighter is not the same as being a martial artist. And it took me a long time to learn that. And uh, I've been studying like Castamato and Teddy Atlas. And they say that fighting is 80% mental and 20% physical. What am I trying to say? Who you are here affects your ability to fight, to overcome an opponent more than this. Obviously, this is important, but this is even more important. Fortify your mind. And I feel like everyone at some point should learn how to fight because it builds you mentally. Being a fighter is about, first of all, being able to stay calm in adversity. Once, when, when you're back against the corner and you're just getting punched, you go stay calm. You go handle it. You go block. Look at the situation. Stay calm. Stay calm. Parry. Then look at a way you can clap back. Boom, counter attack. That's what fighting is. It's about enduring and finding a way, you know? It's about figuring it out before someone takes your consciousness, someone knocks you out. Because if you don't figure out what's going on, where the punches is coming from, what the problem is, what you're doing wrong, you will get knocked out. <laughs> It'll just be a matter of time, you know what I mean? And that translates very well in life because we often fail to, to assess ourselves and say, what am I doing wrong? And in hard situations, like people freak out, they lose their minds. They don't know how to stay calm and assess the situation. Fighting, being a fighter is about being calm in the midst of the storm. After you learn to become calm, there's the confidence part of it. The confidence is knowing that you will be able to overcome someone. You can beat this person. Because sometimes people have mental blocks. I'm at the confidence part where I know how to stay calm, how to figure out what's happening. But now I need to have supreme confidence in my ability to destroy my enemy, to finish my enemy. You know what I mean? To annihilate enemies, not only just being able to defend and counter out real quick, but annihilation, you know? And this level of confidence, it translates in all aspects of life. Translate in business, dating, work, everything. Do you know what I mean? So being a fighter, it helps you build concrete levels of confidence. I'm not talking about bravado or whatnot. I'm talking about real life confidence. What, 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 what more confidence can you have than the ability to know that no one can, that if things get physical, no one can take you out. Or the majority of the population can't take you out. There's no greater confidence than that, you know? And it comes with a certain level of like being relaxed because you can handle more the more, most part of the day like you can handle hard things you can handle hard times there's nothing in your day yeah nine times out of ten that will be tougher than someone trying to knock you out do you know what i mean 
there's nothing that's going to be tough in the day obviously you can hear tragedies and etc but you'll be equipped you know you'll be more relaxed less stressed in your day-to-day -day life you might even become a little bit nonchalant you know what i mean and there's just a lot of honor in in becoming a fighter in overcoming adversity you know it's like it took me so long it took me like i started like seriously with my i started uh, in july of last year but it's only now that only now almost a year later that i'm just starting to understand like what a fighter is you know and i used to get so frustrated but now it's like i'm starting to understand you know be there in the moment look see observe analyze assess yourself readjust your god is not high enough put it high enough look at the pipes the opponents like to throw straight and, and cross it straight cross straight cross how are you going to counter that you know when you throw hooks it's the block 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 come over her pocket you know what i mean it's like pattern analyzing fighting is the art of war you know what i mean and again going back to mike tyson like all of these great people great businessmen politicians emperors they were fighters in their own realms because fighting is what the ability to conquer and those qualities you find them everywhere in every successful people confidence the ability to the fact that they know that they can handle anything and they're relaxed also they can analyze the situation they can self-assess they can see themselves like almost as an outer not outer body experience but they can self-assess you know what i mean so if you have like a fire engine next to you go in there spar don't spar too hard because you don't want to you know what i'm saying you don't want to have brain damage but yes that's all i wanted to say and i think it's very important and it will help you in life in general